Hi, this is Christina, and this is part two of my documentary type of dealing with a motor neuron disease. As you can tell from last time, approximately two weeks ago, I was talking quite normally, but as it stands, my speech has gotten significantly compromised. I've been dealing with a lot of frustration because in my head I feel like I can talk normally. And no matter how much I try to say the words, they don't come out right. I lie in my bed for hours on them, reading and saying over and over in my mind that I can say it this time, or say it this time. But each time, it doesn't come out. I wake up every morning and hope that I will have somewhat recovered in my speech. I have found a way to make it easier because when it first started going, I was working really hard at enunciating the words accurately and that strained the muscles that did work but I found that if I pass more air through my vocal cords I can control a little easier and it not be so painful to speak. In my family coping, it was quite a shock for them to deal with. I feel sometimes like I am already a goner. I spent 14 years of my life entertaining as a stage hypnotist where speaking effectively was a necessity. I also noticed that people they do one of two things. They either respond back to me louder. I want to yell to them. I may have lost the coordination for my mouth and my tongue, but I didn't lose my hearing. And the other thing that I noticed is people respond to me like I have mental challenges. Rest assured that this disease does not compromise my intellectual capabilities at all. I am now at a crossroads as my doctor wants me to consider getting a feeding tube. I am trying to distinguish the quality versus quantity of my life. It is a personal choice. But as of yet, I'm not quite ready to shut up. I do my best to
to maintain the level of strength to my family. I cry in silence so that I can be prepared for the next day and be strong and crack my jokes to them. Please, I'm gonna ask you guys as a public, do I get a feeding tube and stick around for a little while? Sometimes it's really hard to accept because this is something I have absolutely no control over. I was amazed at discovering that the amount of muscles used to communicate was as vast. Funny thing about this illness is that you never really know what you lose until it's gone. Even though I still have the use of my right hand and my left leg, I never in my wildest dreams thought my speech would go so quickly. I also realized as to date how much in the past since being struck with this illness, how much I have actually taken for granted. For those of you that are well and are in a rut yourselves, nothing is that bad. Find a way to keep moving forward. What I also realize with this situation is when I'm confronted with a challenge, I automatically seek out a way to adjust my situation and make things more productive. I always say all bad things have a good end. If it is not good, it is not the end. Remember that. Be well, and anybody that wants to post a comment, please feel free to do so. But realize that I am a real human being, and I am a very compassionate one, and hope that you would, at least if you comment, deliver me with the same level of dignity and compassion. You be good to one another. Bye for now.